Well, hello everyone. Uh, let's start our video conference. Technique to dissolve the ego. Details. Well, esoterically, this chapter is called Death. Because the one that starts disintegrating his psychological defects, his ego, uh, gets out of the circle in which he's trapped the mankind. Right? That person doesn't follow the path of our society, of the mankind. Right? All human beings, without exception, carries inside a divine spark. Right? All of us, without exception, carry the divine spark, which currently, nowadays, is basically and only the 3% of our consciousness, of our whole consciousness. The other 97% of our sense, of our consciousness, of our own wisdom, of our inner being, is trapped inside of our ego, represented in each one of all those psychological effects we carry inside since previous human existences, right? Inside of our ego, of each one of our psychological effects, there is trapped in a specific percentage of a sense in form of virtues, forces, faculties, positive uh, powers and so on right uh, this divine spark this divine spark that is the part of God that all of us carry inside have inside um, is also called essence buddhata So, right, and this divine spark impulses us, gives us the force, the inner strength to start a process of regeneration, right? The more consciousness we released from our ego, the more strong, stronger and bigger it is becoming, right? Because remember that the rest of the 97% of our wisdom is trapped inside of each one of our psychological effects, right? Unfortunately, ego takes control of our lives of our destinies and command our inner energies and ego doesn't let the divine spark 
manifest on our physical life. And obviously, and unfortunately at the same time, our divine spark is not taking charge of our lives currently. Many times we believe that our divine spark is commanding, governing our lives, but usually what is happening is that our own ego takes control of our lives, represented in different types of ideas, arguments, concepts, subjective elements, even related with all these topics. All right? If we disintegrate our psychological effects, our divine spark is manifesting itself more clearly, with more strength, right? It is becoming in soul, gradually, little by little, grain by grain, literally, right? For instance, let's say something here. I have no idea how to draw properly, but let's try to do something here. This tree stands on its main roots, right? These ones. They don't feed it, but rather support it against the winds and the weight of it, so as not to fall to collapse, right? And its tiny roots, these ones, this one, the tiny ones, are those that extend through the rest of the earth, right? And absorb the sap to feed it. This is the work of all these tiny roots. They don't feed it, right? They just absorb the sap through the rest of the earth. Only to feed it, all right? Psychological work as soon as possible begins when we self-observe with our sixth sense our first practical tool of change, of regeneration, self-observation. It's necessary to daily, as much as we can if possible, from instant to instant, from moment to moment, to observe, to detect all these tiny manifestations of our ego. This is the trunk, this is the rest of the tree. All right, it's necessary to detect all those thousands of tiny details that we have and that nourish the trunk, right? And when we talk here psychologically about details, for example, we are talking about those small moments of ambition, when for example, we take coins that are not of us, for example, 
or insignificant things also we take insignificant things when we tell lies tiny lies anyway those are defects our father internally represents the truth when we tell lies we are far away from our inner father small lies for example or for example when we speak words full of pride a specific person in our work in our family in our neighborhood sometimes or many times in our lives we've spoken words full of pride to someone else a small moment for example of greed small moments of selfishness tiny moments of selfishness in relation, in, in the interaction with our fellow men, with people. In fact, from instant to instant, thousands of different negative thoughts and emotions are passing through our psyche. Those are the details, also the ones we should detect as soon as possible and start the elimination with the help of our Divine Mother. Our Divine Mother, that female part of God inside of each one of us, has the mission, the power to delete all those small and tiny thoughts, small and tiny emotions, small moments of fear, for example. If we are ready to detect all these small and tiny thoughts, small and tiny uh, emotions, lower emotions, fear, all those tiny anxieties, for example, all those tiny resentments, all those small doubts, and so on. Immediately we apply the inner petition to our Divine Mother mentally, sincerely, in order to delete them. Right? So if gradually we start sooner than later the elimination of all these tiny details that we have, that all of us without exception carry inside of our psyche, these ones won't nourish the trunk, all right? And for sure won't nourish the thick roots that represents the capital defects. For example, this one is envy. This one, the other thick root, is for example lust. This other thick root, anger. Laziness. Pride, etc., etc. The most important thing as soon as we can, as soon as possible, is to detect in our esoteric work daily, as much as we can daily, all those tiny and small details, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, etc., etc. Right? And this is the process to dissolve our own ego. And it's 
sense to self-observation. With that self-observation, we detect all these details. When we, for example, want to take coins or to take insignificant things that are not of us, that are not ours, to their lives, all these typical reactions, many times, mechanical reactions, speaking words full of pride, those selfishness small moments right all the train of thoughts that from instant to instant are crossing our minds we apply the inner petition to our divine mother that is part of this three percent of our divine part and we'll see the change immediately and gradually because as soon as we make the inner petition to our Divine Mother, we feel the change immediately. This is something magical, literally. All right? So from now on, if possible, because this is an entire process, this is something gradual, and we know it already for sure, it's necessary to pay attention from now on to the mind, to our heart, and to our sexual part. Because through each one of these three centers of our internal anatomy, they manifest themselves daily from instant to instant. Right? This is crucial to understand firstly. Pay attention to our mind, to our heart, and to our sexual part. Because through each one of all these parts, through each one of these three parts, these magnetic centers of our human machine, they manifest themselves. It's mandatory for all those that want to be rescue from a disaster that is coming sooner than later for our current mankind. Unfortunately, uh, we are facing and living critical moments and there will be a rescue. Civilizations of superior mankinds of other solar systems and galaxies are observing us as we have no idea. And they know for sure which one of us is working internally to purify ourselves gradually, daily. Which one of us is regenerating ourselves to be rescued. Uh, a disaster is coming to this Earth planet. Yeah, and it's coming soon. Believe it or not, we are in the last instance of our fifth race. Our mankind is the worst of this galaxy. Something never seen before. If we release our consciousness gradually, daily, obviously, this is a long process. We'll raise our own vibration. Because we are releasing the essence daily. We start making a transfer, a transfer from the ego to the divine spark, and it will be bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. All right? And at the same time, we'll be ready, for example, for the astral travel. 
divine hierarchies put us a task to be rescued for being saved from the disaster that is coming. Number one, psychological defects, psychological death, excuse me. Psychological death. Which is all these that I've been explaining during this conference. And number two, the astral travel consciously. When we die psychologically, daily, and it means the elimination of our ego, gradually, little by little, we are purifying ourselves, and at the same time, we are achieving our own awareness in the astral world. We are being more conscious in the dreams, in that called dreams, that also are esoterically named or called astral experiences, astral travels. Divine hierarchies and all those Authentic human civilizations, also called aliens, they know what is coming pretty soon for our entire planet. They'll rescue all those that are disintegrating, dissolving their ego that is and are the cause of all of our sufferings and degeneration in our societies. We awake internally in that molecular world, in that astral zone, if we die and when we die psychologically. The main clue for being conscious and making astral travels consciously, wisely, is the elimination of our entire ego. Because the essence, our authentic consciousness, our inner being, is trapped inside of our ego. And one of the tips, one of my clues, probably the main one, is to work on our details. With the elimination of the different details that all of us without exception carry inside, we start the serious process of our own regeneration. All right? This is the task, psychological death and astral travel consciously. The clue is this one, to awake consciously internally. To open our eyes right there in the fifth dimension, also called zone of dreams. Astral world, esoterically called fifth dimension. So pay attention, please, to your mind, to your heart, to your sexual part from now on. To see from which one of all these three parts are trying to manifest all these different type of tiny details in order to delete them with the inner petition to your Divine Mother, to your particular Divine Mother. Mentally, from the bottom of your heart, as soon as you detect it, anyone those small lies that we want to tell to anyone else, those words full of pride, full of anger, those small moments of fears, due to anything, it doesn't matter, due to anything, those doubts, small and tiny doubts, insecurities, small anxieties, those lustful moments, 
at any instant, it doesn't matter, please delete them, gradually, little by little, and your own vibration will be raising, gradually, for sure. And you'll be ready gradually, you're going to be mature to weigh your own consciousness and to make astral travels properly in the fifth dimension of our universe. Divine hierarchies know who is working internally, who is eliminating the ego. Alright? And also our big brothers, aliens of other planets, authentic humanities that know our inner state in our society, in our earth planet. In fact, I can tell you that all those, many of all those aliens are already among us. They are observing us carefully. And they do know which one of us have the correct and the proper inner vibration to rescue all those when the moment comes. All right, this pandemic is the starting point of something worse. All right. The releasing of the essence is mandatory to becoming something different, something better. To becoming ourselves something better, for sure. This is the cause of all our sufferings. Right? Do we want to be connected too much to, for example, our mobiles, to video games? Do we like to go to bed too late at night? Those are some other details to analyze, to delete, to eliminate with our own Divine Mother. Are we being controlled? by negative mindsets, by bad wills, small moments of bad wills. Okay, let's delete them, eliminate them for your own good and even for a common good. Only practitioners will be rescued. Only those that have the correct vibration, the spiritual level, will be saved by our big brothers, by all those mankinds of uh, other planets and galaxies that are ready to help us. All right? And the, the authentic white brotherhood uh, is observing us daily, as we cannot imagine. Well, this is the thing. Um, thank you for attending this conference again. And if there is any question or any doubt, anything to say to ask about this specific topic, please feel free to ask me and shortly we will respond to you, okay? Thank you very much and have a, an amazing day.